hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys if your camera is not working on your windows 11 or 10 computer or laptop so this video is for you i will show you how to fix it so error code could be different or any other pop-up on your windows so if your camera is not working and you are facing the camera is not working on your windows 11 or 10 so this video is for you i will show you step by step how to fix the issue okay so first of all we need to check the camera settings whether the camera is allowed or not on our windows simply click on start menu then click on setting icons here and once you go to the setting icons go to privacy and security options and here you need to find out the camera scroll down here click on camera and make sure the camera access is on here if it is off like this you can turn it on even if it is on but you can try it turn it off and you can turn it on again and also check the apps which are working and you can enable all the settings on our windows I mean the install app make sure all the access is allowed on your camera so this is the first setting and this setting should be enabled on your system but if it is not enabled so it will instantly fix your issue otherwise we can move on to the next method now now in the next method what you need to do is you need to open the device manager guys open the device manager here simply and once you open the device manager here check for the camera actions camera here camera should be visible here inside the device manager if camera is not showing up here that means the camera is not attached properly or maybe some you know the hardware or the driver issue later on we will fix that also so what you can do is click on your computer host name the first option on the top then click on action and scan for hardware changes what this will do is if any miss happened on your windows and something you have misconfigured on your windows it will roll back to normal and see if you are able to see the camera here if you are able to see the camera here just you need to right click on it disable it once and then you need to enable it once also you can look for update option here and select this option and another option you can select this one choose the latest one reinstall the driver and it will fix your issue now if it is also unable to fix your issue and camera is still not showing up here click on again your computer host name then click on view and click on show hidden devices and see if the camera is visible here or not if camera is still not visible here so we can go to the manufacturer website and we need to install the bios driver bios is basic output basic input output system so look for your manufacturer let's say you are using the camera system information open the system information and once you open the system information guys look for here os manufacturer not os system model number and system type in my case this is my virtual machine but steps will be same let's say you are using the hp laptop or the dell laptop type are hp drivers only just open the first link if you are using the Dell laptop or system Dell driver download you need to make sure that you are browsing the official website of their Lenovo driver download so once you visit your manufacturer driver you need to have the serial number here select here the camera or desktop or system I am selecting laptop you can choose this option let HP detect your product or even you can find out on the hardware 
let me show you how to find out on the hardware you can see here uh, this is a backside your laptop or system serial number should be showing up here you can enter it simply otherwise I am giving it a command prompt here CMD simply open the CMD and type it WMIC CS product and if you are getting this error okay so make sure you are go to here type here feature update additional let me go to settings here now inside here type the feature and by this way you should able to get your feature available here feature not showing up here yes you can see the option optional features now click on view and see available features and you need to type it WMIC okay and just simply add it once it is added like this again hit this command and you will get your serial number but you will see once it is added only okay so once it's added I'm not adding it right now you should get your serial number and after that open here click on search also similar way Dell Latitude this one is just for example and from here guys we need to install the BIOS driver let me show you click on select driver even check for update automatically but as of now we are selecting BIOS and you can search here the BIOS driver you can search here or even you can search the first two three options BIOS driver let me show you here this one BIOS and once you type for BIOS you can see here the BIOS option is this one Dell Latitude 3450 system BIOS critical driver update here once you select that simply download it and you need to plug in with the charger otherwise you are not able to install the BIOS driver on your computer once this exe downloaded just run it plug in with your computer or laptop with the charger and once you have downloaded that driver guys I'm pretty sure your issue will be fixed after BIOS update is done on your computer also what you can do is you can go to here settings and make sure your window is up to date sometime the older windows can cause this issue so resume update check for update and if anything is showing up here pending restart and update just do that and after that you are good to go your issue will be fixed if after applying these methods guys your issue is still not resolved so what you can do is you can open the CMD and run it as admin and we can fix the windows corruption before going ahead with the advanced option type a SFC space forward slash scan now and this will fix the windows corruption OS level corruption and once this is done again restart your windows and check back if that able to fix your issue or not if still not so I have the last fix for you guys and that is reset the PC I have observed that if nothing works on Windows so you can go ahead with reset PC and I have fixed many issues with reset the PC including the 
camera is not working go ahead with reset and choose according to your choice let's say you are keeping your personal files and data but apps wouldn't be available on your windows click on cloud download option i should suggest to you choose this option this will directly install the drivers from the manufacturer of os like microsoft corporation just click on next okay and once you have initiated the reset the pc after backing up your data just c drive will be formatted you can keep your data into d drive and once the reset is done see if the camera is working after that or not if applying these methods still your camera is not working guys that means that you have the hardware issue and you have to replace your webcam in that case and only that is the solution for you in your windows so i hope guys this guide helped you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech